So what's going on? Uh, this right here, this is the uh, first internet tech viral video film festival located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's part of the Walker Arts Center. Cat videos. Everyone's seen them. Some have been watched more than 60 million times. Sometimes it seems like kitty hijinks power the internet. Now there's a feline film festival to celebrate the phenomena and the pleasure of watching a surprised <laughs> kitten. Not only like cat lovers like cat videos, so it seems to be something slightly universal. Those people can get a laugh out of, you know, a cat riding around on a vacuum or a cute kitten falling asleep or, you know, whatever gets, you know, shared through social media and emails. So that why not share it together in real life and see if it's something that you don't have to be embarrassed about liking. Katie Hill had the idea for the festival and decided to crowdsource submissions. Not surprisingly, the response was overwhelming. And we ended up with over 10,000 nominations. So it sort of exploded. Um, and it's amazing that so many people <laughs> love these cat videos and so many people make them. There's so many out there. A dozen judges narrowed the entries down to 79 clips in categories like documentary. Oscar's hobby is feline art, with his favorite genres being postmodern cardboard deconstruction, foreign, musical, and art house. Although the distinction between, say, comedy and drama was sometimes hard to find. The films were shown on the walker's lawn and they drew cineasts and cat lovers from near and far. And we're here because why wouldn't we be? I was here a month ago and heard about this and have been planning ever since to come back for it. Well, everything you read says, says it's one of the biggest time wasters on the internet, but how could you not love them? People watch them and they watch them over and over and over again. As at any good film festival, there were celebrities. <laughs> like Lil Bub, a dwarf kitty with a wide online following who traveled from Indiana to meet with her adoring public. <laughs> Bub's most viral video is the one where she gets yogurt on her head. And it, I didn't take it to put on the internet. I just took it because it was funny, you know? And um, then I was like, well, it's easy to put on the internet. You're going to get yogurt on your head. It's easy to like capture a special moment or just to run your camera all the time and then something magical happens and you can put on the internet. And then, but then at the same time, there's so much of it out there. A lot of the festival's videos had the shaky camera aesthetic of cell phone movies. But the People's Choice Award, the Golden Kitty, went to Henri II, Pas de Deux, a polished two minute long new wave spoof about the ennui of a Francophile feline. I think this goes to show that the shared love of cat videos isn't just a virtual thing, it isn't just a matter of a few clicks here and there on your computer, but actually is something that people can share in real life. And just like anything, that any interest that people have, if you have enough people that love it, you can have a, a festival devoted to it and thousands of people will show up. So I think this legitimizes it in that sense. Organizers at the Walker said that attendance was twice what they expected. About 10,000 people showed up. Proof that the online appeal of cute kitten videos carries over into real life. I think you're going to see a lot of copycat versions of this event. La crème fruitée dans la salle de bain n'est pas la crème fruitée. Nous n'est pas bon, pas non séché pas.